Uh, does it have to do with, like, your screen resolution? I have no idea. Probably a visual display sort of. Ratio of contrast. I really don't know that. Contrast ratio. I have no idea. Obviously, it's the ratio of contrast of one thing to another. You started a band. Uh, lift with your knees and now with your back. With your hand, with a tool, something to, that holds on to it, like. With your knees. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta go like this, yeah, and kind of like hold the core tight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, with your legs. Shh, keep the back straight. Using your leg strength. Uh, hubs are helpful because they help you switch data all around it. <laughs> no. Extremely dumb. Smart or dumb? <laughs> I'm gonna say they're dumb, so I don't know what they are exactly. <laughs> yeah. I assume so. The words sound pretty similar, so I'd say, yeah. Mm. Must be really stupid. UPS what? No. United Postal Service. All right. All right. I feel like it'd be something inside the computer though. Okay. I feel like it's something on the keyboard, maybe. UPS. United Postal Service. Uh, you. So like, on a motherboard, there's software that's always like running and always on the motherboard that kind of ships with it and when you flash it you stop it and start it again basically like re restarting the motherboard software or something like that i have no idea oh I, you don't want to see that okay quite inappropriate um <laughs> it depends on how you think about that <laughs> <laughs> Just like, think of like jokes they can make out of that one, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you flash any type of obscene body part. Uh, something you don't want to spread all over your <laughs> Thermal has to do with heat, paste. It's like paste. Oh wait, no, no. <laughs> Thermal paste? Man, yeah, these are crazy ones here. Obviously, oh. it's like Ben Gay. I'm assuming it's something you, if you have some type of like electrical problem on your computer, you'd use that to cover it up, kind of like a sealant or something. They're different types of RAM. Is that a body part? I don't know. What is that? It's uh, generations of RAM. Okay. I was just thinking of DD, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> I know they, the higher the number, the newer the RAM is. I know it's RAM. I, I'm guessing they're just different songs. Uh, I, know, I definitely play DDR. Uh, I don't I think it always stays on four arrows. <laughs> because I don't know. <laughs> Probably somewhere you would plug something into. Uh, yeah, I think that zip pocket uh, attaches the flux capacitor and that, uh, that attaches the eliminating sprocket helps the energy system in your, helps your RAM computer speeds up. and it creates a map. It's like a topography. Yeah. 
some some some, <coughs> some sort of study. All right. I don't know. The mapping of stars. This like sounds like some like science fiction like <laughs> fantasy shit. I don't know. We'll, we'll cover that one. Oh well, we could get the expert on that. I think we could get into really complex philosophy. But ology would be the study of, and star topology would be the study of. It's the data that gets stored on your computer so that it's easily, uh, like if you go to a website and you go to the same website, you can catch the Im images, you don't have to make a call to the uh, web server. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. <laughs> I guess you spent spots. So. I've heard of that, but I don't know why it's so fast. It's like a easy, or a, it's stores a little bit of information to be able to quickly access the information when you return again. It's like a turtle because it takes so long for you to acquire it because it's gone so quickly once you use it. So it's very fast resources that just get used up. Some like it hot. <laughs> hot swapping. Advantage of hot swapping. Oh man, that's scary. <laughs> It kind of sounds dirty. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> don't even know what hot swapping is. If you're bored with your wife and you want to spice things up a little bit, you might go to a swingers club, something like that. You would be looking for my IP address. When you ping something, when you locate something. Um, sending a packet across um, a series of tubes that cats live in on the internet. <laughs> messaging. Yeah, is that like poking? Like, in, like instant messaging, <laughs> almost. Oh, uh, you would be, I guess, anytime I've ever pinged anything was to make sure that the communication is there, I guess? I just, I know ping uh, has to do with how slow you're going or how fast you're going. I know it's like, I thought it was a slang term. It's a unique identifier for a particular device. IP address. Isn't that the address of a, um, like an item? Like, the number of the item? Like when you need to find something online, you just type in the address and you find what it is, how much, if you have like, ugh, I'm making stuff up. IP address is the number that your computer basically tags itself as, as part of like, like an internet mail address or something. It's like everyone has a certain IP address, so you can also track people down by the IP address as well. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the internet protocol address. Um, there's public and private ones. Every, I think every type of thing that's hooked up to a network has a different IP address, so things can get, so I guess information can get sent to it. Toner? It goes in your printer. Like a, like a toner. <laughs> like a toner. He just tones it down. Like, like, tone. Toner is the ink that's in a printer. Isn't that like the ink in a printer? A toner. Yeah, like toning your hair. Toner is what you put in a printer. <laughs> uh, that's paper for printers. Ink. Or it's ink. It's right? Ink. For ink. <laughs> Something I had when I was a kid. <laughs> you print in dots something. I don't know. <laughs> Dot matrix printer. It makes a lot of dots and shapes. I haven't seen one in long. That's like an old thing, right? Yeah. Some old technology there. Well, do you want the red answer or the blue answer? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> So I can tell you what it yeah, is, but you, you might not want to know what the dot matrix is. It might freak you out too much. So. <laughs> I'm sure I have, yes. yes. <laughs> I might have. I don't know. I might have. <laughs> nope. Okay. Just once in college, though, actually. Not off the Never top of my head. Never in my life. 
DHCP, yeah, that's, um, I can't remember what it stands for, but I've used it when doing like port forwarding, or well, actually, no, wait, no, DHCP. No. No. Cable. Sounds like a cord. Ram. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, lightning adapter. <laughs> Cars. Grand Theft Auto. Complicated. No idea. <laughs> Terror plot, I don't know. Submarine. Subway. 255, 255, 255. Mask that you wear. Sub. Uh, something I need to put outside my house for like. Tests. Raid? Mm -hmm. Raid. Raid. Computer part. Oh, actually, I think it's terrible on the back. <laughs> the bugs <Okay>. raid. <laughs> Raiding something, like the movie Raid. Uh, hard drive. Attack. World Warcraft. Uh, no idea. Something that connects two things together that's in the north part of the computer. I don't know. South Street. Bridge that is to the north. Hmm, yes. Uh, south Bridge. <laughs> yeah. Opposite the South Bridge. Computer. Like a computer, like a desktop. Laptop. Your screen keyboard. Desktop, screensaver. Computer. Decimal system. Okay. Some sort of spongy, something spongy, something. <laughs> <laughs> Sticky. Yucky. Duck. Clams. <laughs> I just think of more goo. <laughs> <laughs> Duck. Sticky. Yeah, I just thought X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> Turd. <laughs> An X amount of fat? Alright. Well, 32 fat came to mind. Uh, P90X. 